In this video, we introduce you to our new RV. We'll do a complete walkthrough, outside and inside. And show you everything you need to know about the Leisure Travel Van's Wonder Rear Twin Bed Model. Come on along! This is the official tour of our brand new Wonder. Now, we've been promising a walkthrough on this thing for uh, the last uh, two and a half weeks, ever since we got it. And I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Let's get started with some of the specs on outside, and then we'll take them inside. Our RV is a 2021 Leisure Travel Vans Wonder rear twin bed model. It is built on the 2020 Ford Transit cutaway chassis. Though it is marketed as a Class B plus motorhome, it is legally, for the title and insurance, a Class C RV. There are no slides, but there is plenty of room. Gross vehicle weight of this vehicle is 11,000 pounds. The maximum cargo capacity, that's how much uh, you can carry in there, including passengers, a dog, all the gear that you bring, a water tank, maximum. 1,853 pounds. The length of our Wonder is just under 25 feet. In fact, it's 24 feet, 9 inches. The width of our Wonder, 7 feet, 11 inches on a 178 inch wheelbase. And the height, counting the air conditioner, is just under 10 feet, 9 feet, 11 and a half inches. Under the hood of this Ford Transit all-wheel drive is a 350 HD 3.5 liter engine V6. It runs gas and it produces 310 horsepower with the 10-speed automatic transmission. Let me start with the mirrors. The driver and passenger side mirrors are really panoramic. It's two levels. This is the wide angle and this is a, a big view of what's uh, on your side. These are heated mirrors, and uh, if you're in a tight spot, you can uh, push the mirrors in like that. Really nice mirrors. These are the best mirrors I've had on any of the motorhomes we've had. Best view on the road. Uh, moving down here on the driver's side. Oh, check this out. This is the uh, molded step to get in and out. The uh, gas is right here. This is a 25 gallon gas tank. It will run on 87. I like to run it on about 89, but it's nice. It's uh, protected by the door. Heading straight down over here on the side of the vehicle right here is the Truma AquaGo heater. This is so nice. We were spoiled on our last one with this. This is uh, instant hot water. Works with this little tank in here that heats up immediately and it uh, distributes the water. It's always running through. It's always hot. You control it right through here. But we are big fans of this instant uh, Truma AquaGo heater. Below this is the compartment for all of the utility things. Here's your propane hookup. Uh, there is an ability you can uh, back flush or wash out the black water tank by hooking up uh, water there. It uh, describes how to do that in the manual. It's really nice, but this is for propane. That's to back flush your black tanks. Here is a satellite hookup if you want. This is a, a cable TV hookup. Um, propane switch on and off. If you're going through a tunnel, some places make you do that. This will turn on the macerator. Uh, an extra switch for the water pump if you need to turn the water on. Here's the spigot for the fresh water hookup, a 30 gallon fresh water tank in this thing. An outdoor shower. If Bo gets a little dirty and muddy, we can, uh, we can use this uh, shower wand, bring it out and clean them off. This has something else that is really nice. This thing right here. This is a siphon hose and you can take a jug of water and put it in. And if you're boondocking, you can fill, out, fill that directly into your fresh water tank. So we really like having that. That's a nice thing to have. Uh, over here, this is some winterizing controls that um, you use when you are winterizing the plumbing system. And that's the utility bay. But I want to show you something right next door. This is where the macerator is. And you dump your black water or your gray water through that. 
I like using a macerator, but there is a gravity hookup as well if you want the traditional. Now, the one thing I don't like about this is where are the handles for the gray and the black? They're way back there. You gotta get down on your hands and knees and pull those levers out. Why they didn't have them closer, I don't know. They're really awkward and hard to reach. There's gotta be a solution to extend those somehow. Here's a small extra storage container. You can get uh, some shoes, a couple things in there. I like it that they uh, they sort of insulate it. It's kind of like a carpeted, uh, almost, uh, almost. so things aren't banging around in there. It's like a, like a little foam carpet covering on the wall. Here's the uh, shore power hookup, 30 amps. And back here, well, we'll come to this on the other side and explain that to you. But let me walk around the back. A couple things to see here. We did install a ladder so I can get up on the roof and add a satellite dish or mess around up there with the stuff we have there. Uh, here's something, this is the outdoor thermometer sensor. It tells you the outdoor temperature. It's on here with heavy duty uh, outside Velcro, hook and loop uh, Velcro. And down here is a hitch. It's the small receiver, so for like our bike rack, we need to get an adapter. Now let me take you back here to what we call the garage of our Wonder Rear Twin Bed Model. It has a pass-through storage area. That's what the garage really is. And it has all sorts of room. One of the most obvious is uh, using it for bicycles. You can store a bicycle here. Uh, this is a road bike that I have and you see how easy it goes in. It's it's got a pull-out uh, tray that the bike uh, goes in and out on. Uh, you do have to take the front wheel off to get the bike in there, but that's uh, no problem at all. But what about our e-bikes? Well, we love our e-bikes, but they're just a little too big to fit in the garage. Uh, I'd have to take the front wheels off and I wouldn't be able to carry all of those chairs, like our gravity chairs that we like to bring with us. So I think the solution is, is to use the garage for all the, the other stuff that we want to bring and put the e-bikes on the back on a hitch. And that way we got the best of both worlds. This is one of my favorite features about the Wonder is this garage. It can hold up to 500 pounds. We can put our grill. We can put gravity chairs back here, a rocking chair, any type of chair that we would like to take golf clubs if we would like to bring those and just lots of room back here. Now I should point out that the garage only comes with the rear twin bed wonder model from Leisure. The other ones have storage along the sides but they don't have this big area here. Our beds are actually on the inside right above the garage and there's some in interesting storage there which we'll show you later on. But only the rear twin bed model wonder has this garage. And a nice feature is having lights in here. You can turn those off and on with the master switch. Nice feature. At night, you've got light. In case you're wondering what this black box is, this is where our two 100 watt lithium batteries are. Now you note the name on these, they're called Dragonfly. Dragonfly is the parent company for Battleborn batteries. Dragonfly is uh, the name they use when the uh, RV manufacturer installs them, as Leisure does now with lithium batteries. I am going to show you one of my all-time favorite things, and that is a collapsible picnic table that's stored right in the back. And I really like this feature. How many times have you been camping someplace and there isn't a picnic table? Or else maybe the picnic table isn't you know, what you really want to use. It's a little rickety, a little unstable. But here, you have your own picnic table. No matter where you are, you are ready. So Mike, would you hook this up? Show everybody how easy this is. It snaps over there and over here. Just two slices that it hooks on. Look how solid that is. The legs are there. They're adjustable legs. You can make it higher or lower. Uh, you know, if you're maybe clamped on uneven ground. And uh, isn't this nice? This is going to be my office. I'm going to work out Perfect. here. And Perfect. I can work here, you can work there. We can put the podcast here. And, and Bo can work there. Bo can work there. And we've got a uh, place to uh, have picnics. And uh, this is so nice having this with us. Perfect. 
here's the generator. This is an Onan 3600 LP generator. We get a little more juice out of it. And frankly, we like the LP hookup. Uh, it's just, I don't know, I just have always had LP. I don't like it sipping from the fuel tank. Uh, I find that uh, this works great. I can run it for hours and hours at a time. Uh, so that's our Onan generator, 3600 watts. See this little valve right here? This is really nice too. This allows me to uh, attach a propane grill and uh, fire off my propane. I don't have to carry around those little green tanks. This will run propane right from the RV. Back here in the garage is the awning. Inside is a control for the awning lights. Subtle little LEDs. Now this does not have, like our previous model, a wind sensor. I think we'll miss that. And it's got that old style one where you have to uh, bring down the legs. If you don't like those legs like that, you can do it this way. Just a little tension. Like so. Just push this up a little bit to where you want it. Lock it in. Try the other one too. A couple of things I don't like about it. Well, I was spoiled. We had an automatic one that didn't need those legs that are kind of awkward to store in the in the little rail here. But uh, all said and done, you know, just very workable. That's what we had in all of our other RVs, and it'll do fine here. All right, time now to go up top. Let me show you what's on the roof. We have 400 watts of solar power up here. Uh, that uh, is enough to top off our, uh, our coach batteries uh, during a nice sunny day, keep them nice and charged up. We also have the WineGuard Connect 2. It's a Wi-Fi extender, picking up Wi-Fi signals from a pretty wide area. And it also has a 4G LTE antenna in it. Now, it's not a cell phone booster, but because the cell phone antenna is up high on the roof like that, it does a good job of picking up those cell phone signals. All right, that's the outside of the Wonder. Now, let's go inside and see if Jennifer's ready to give us a tour in there. Hi. Hi, welcome to the inside part of our tour now. And let me show you the first thing, why this is the rear twin bed model. Let's go back here and I'll show you. It's because it has rear twin beds. We love the two twin beds. The size 76 inches by 32 and 6 inches deep. Now that presents a little bit of a problem because the 76 inches is fine but the 32 inches most mattress pads and sheets are made for 39 inches. So I've got a little bit of a challenge there to figure that out. Now our ace in the hole is we have two super bags that are for twin beds. Remember the super bags? You put one side down, you got the summer blanket side up, flip it around, you got the winter side up. We have sheets that Velcros in. So we can use our super bags, but I would like to pursue getting a mattress pad and sheets that fit perfectly on the, on the mattresses. I've got two options with the beds. We can leave it set up as two twin beds, or we can drop a leaf put it together and have a queen size bed. Here's how we do it. We have to lift the two twin mattresses and what looks like a table is really a leaf that's going to drop down and be the support that's necessary to make this into a queen mattress. And here it is. It's set up as a queen size bed. Getting up here. Whoa, where's my pillow? Yeah. There we go. Ah. Mm. Remember I said a little earlier when we were outside that the rear twin beds are built over the garage and that poses some unique storage capabilities inside. Let me show you. All I want to do is lift up this mattress. Just lift up the bed and there is the storage. Now the challenge is, can you see, it, it's kind of dark in there. Now I've got some big overhead lights on, but, but when you look down in this one, that's where you can store uh, hanging items, right there. Um, you know, the camera's showing it a lot lighter than it really is. If I turn off the lights here, <laughs> look. Now, you can see. Now, I, I can see just fine in here. You know, it's fine. 
it's not so bad but in the in there it's like pitch black so I have a solution I got these on Amazon multi-purpose motion sensor lights they're LED motion activated lights uh, you get four of them they're very inexpensive and uh, they're really easy to install on the back of them is an adhesive strip and uh, they each run on four AAA batteries so you put those in, you put that in, stick them on, and you're good to go. All right, so how do they work? Let's uh, lift them up and see if it detects the motion. Ta-da, the lights came on as soon as I lifted it up. And now you can see in there just fine. I can't believe I solved this all by myself. While we're under here, let me show you a couple of things that I did add. Uh, right here is a safe. It's uh, secured there. Nobody's going to get it out. And... Uh, I'm really delighted to have that. And underneath the uh, bed on the driver's side is the uh, 2000 watt inverter that uh, keeps this thing all powered up really good. In the main part of the RV, the ceiling height is six feet, six inches. We have two steps to go up, one and two, and then you're gonna bump your head on the air conditioning or just on the ceiling, unless you're shorter than I am, and I'm like five, six. Now, step down, and here is the bathroom. It has a ceramic macerating toilet with a 28-gallon black water capacity. There's a nice stainless sink, chrome faucets, and a window. Want privacy? Just turn the mirror. There's a rail to hang a couple of items, like these glasses, plenty of towel racks, storage beneath the sink, a medicine cabinet. Up top in the bathroom, a fantastic fan. And three cubby holes for miscellaneous storage. Right opposite the bathroom is a standalone dry shower. A six foot, two inch person can stand inside without crouching. There's a sunlight for natural light and an LED if you want to shower at night. Remember that AquaGo instant hot water we showed you on the outside? That means no wasted water. Step in the shower and it's immediately as warm as you want. This is a very nice feature with the shower door. If you want to divide and make two rooms, all you have to do is open this up and give it a little press. And you have two separate spaces. Great for somebody who wants to watch TV, wants to work in the morning, wants to read at night. They can sit there while the other person can sleep in. Now before we get to the galley area, I want to show you the control centers for everything in here. First, uh, up over the door, here's the solar controller. This is the inverter. Right here is the um, AquaGo, the Truma AquaGo hot water heater, instant hot water. And this is one of the neatest features yet. Those lithium batteries I have, well, lithium batteries don't like cold weather. So this has a heater switch on them. Uh, lithium batteries don't like to charge or discharge when it's cold. And this will warm up those batteries. We do like to do winter camping. We like to camp in cold weather. That's going to be a big plus. But the heart of the control center is right here. A touchscreen, a Firefly touchscreen. This touchscreen runs everything. Uh, you can turn off all the lights, on or off. Uh, pretty darn cool. Uh, it gives you a reading of all your tanks, your fresh water, your gray, your black, your uh, LP gas tanks. You can run your generator through here. You can turn on the water pump. All the lights in the coach are individually controlled. You can do however you want. You can turn it all off master like that. Uh, the air conditioner, uh, the, the heat pump on the uh, AC, the furnace, uh, an auto uh, either air or heat, whatever the temperature says. And of course you can control your fan settings as well. Uh, this is just a really awesome feature. Now there are other controls throughout the RV, but I love that touch screen for an instant look at what's going on inside. There are also panels all over the RV that will let you control individual lights for that particular area. And there are USB plugs throughout the coach. 
uh, so you can charge your devices and not have to uh, always have something plugged into one of the 110 outlets. This is the nimble device that we use to monitor the temperature so we always know how warm it is in here. Uh, it gives an alert to my smartphone and that gives us peace of mind if we have to leave Bo in the RV for a little while while we're outside of it. Let me show you what I like, the skylight. I like the light that comes in. There is a screen that you can pull. You can open that up and put your screen here to keep the bugs out. Or if you want blackout, you can pull this for a shade or you can do half and half, whatever you want to do. But this extra light in the kitchen area is very pleasant. This will open and pop up for fresh air. Now we're in the galley area, and what everybody loves is the pantry, a sliding pantry. Fill it up, put everything you need in here, close it back up, push the button when you're driving, keep it nice and locked and tight, lots of room to store food. And across from the pantry is our microwave convection oven. I like it high, I'm tall, this is convenient for me, love it. Right below, we have the Dometic three-way refrigerator. We have the freezer on the top. We can open it this way if I'm here. We can open it this way if we're in the front. And then we have the regular refrigerator part. Lots of storage room in there. The refrigerator is a good size. And again, we can open it both ways. 6.7 cubic feet of storage. We can easily get a week's worth of food in here. Next to the pantry is a cupboard with a waste basket in it. It has a cover. Put the cover on it and keep those smells down. And I've got a nice waste basket. When I'm cooking, I can toss things into the garbage, get rid of it as I'm working. And my container for my sponges and soap and whatever I want to have convenient for the kitchen. I've got a beautiful sink, nice and deep. Can use this as a cutting board. Nice, deep, beautiful sink. And I love the hardware, the faucet. I like the arch. I like that. We added a paper towel hold holder, picked it up at Bed Bath and Beyond. And you have to have the command tape to make it attach permanently so it's there. It's not going to bounce around while we're driving. This is just something that I have. It's an air freshener. Stick it in there, turn it on if I want, and it'll clean, get the odors, get smells, get whatever I want out of the air. It cleans, purifies the air. Next to the paper towel, the window, a shade that comes down, open screen is my propane cooktop. I have two burners, which is great. I like two better than one. I usually need two. Whatever I'm cooking, I need more. And we have storage. Have a little basket. This is our odds and ends are in here, in that basket. Next to that are our dishes. Cups, coffee maker. Got my dishes up here. I've got room for special things, spices, whatever I want to put up here. Nice and secure, safe, not going to fall. You've seen this before. Every rig we have, we add this. It's our clock. Indoor, outdoor temperature. Mike showed you the outdoor temperature sensor when he was showing you the back of the rig. If I need more cabinet space, I just lift this little lever, bring this down, and I've got more space to cook and prepare food. Besides our little junk drawer here, this is the entertainment cabinet. This is a Sony Blu-ray player. Uh, there's some room for some DVDs up there. And right here, this is a video switcher so that you can have the television in the front part of the RV on uh, one channel or showing a movie. And uh, by the way, this also has a really nice JVL soundbar. And then uh, in the back of the uh, RV, we have another TV here. So you can watch uh, two different channels at the same time. And this is where we store our utensils, my cooking tools, my pots and pans. All the different things I need for the kitchen are in here. 
Here is how we loaded those drawers with all the pots and pans and all the things I need to take for kitchen use. Okay. Fifteen by twenty-one. I'm putting this in to make it a little cushioning, absorb some of that sound so that we don't have things rattle around. If I get tired of the, of the neutral color, I can switch over to the white. I love this tray that comes with it. I love that. But it takes up the whole area. So I consider this some wasted space. So I'm going back to my little silverware area. And that way I can put my saran wrap, my other utensils, I can get more things in here that I need. Thank you don't have a lot of utensils. Explain why. You don't bring a lot of utensils because you got to think smart and what you do bring has got to serve many purposes. So what do we carry in here? What we, we carry in here, I have my small tray for my flatware so it doesn't rattle around, it's easy to get to. Now, how many how many place servings do you have? I mean, I only need... have four because we don't entertain that much. Get out the plasticware if we entertain. I've got a spatula for the outside grill, and then I've got one for the pans that I use in the house. Little spatulas, I, I love these to get that last little drop out. Different things, a grater, measuring cups, can opener, wine opener, cheese, prongs, whisk, I probably could get a smaller whiz, because this takes up a lot of room, but this is it. Everything's got to go in here. What's this for? Just for cooking. Women will know what it's for. A lot of the guys will, too. Oops. That cook. And why is that there? In case I burn my finger. I don't want to have to look a long ways. I want it handy. And a little can opener, wine stopper. Everything I need is right here, top drawer. Okay, my second drawer I put in just a couple pans because I don't need a lot. And I might be changing, swapping these out and get something that I like better. But I also have in here saran wrap and aluminum foil and some garbage bags. In case I run out of supermarket bags, I like the garbage bags. I want something so I can tend to my trash. I also like Ziploc bags. I've got sandwich bags, I've got quart bags. I use those for just about everything. Now I will figure this out as time goes on, but this is where I'm starting from. Third drawer, I wouldn't be without this. My electric fry pan. A lot of purists don't like electric fry pans. I know one woman who had a quarter of a million RV and she didn't have any burners, propane, electric, just her electric fry pan. So here it is, my electric fry pan. I can do just about everything in that. Now you're the purists that don't want an electric fry pan, that want to burn a fire with wood or charcoal. That's not for you, but for me, I'm usually in a hurry. This works great for me. I've got a steamer basket because I like to steam my veggies. I've got these, picked them up at a show, Magic Seal. I'm gonna take them out of the box and let's, just stick them in. Let's explain what they do here. They close bags that you open. Keep things fresh. I gave some to my kids. Everybody loves them. Every RV has different needs as far as hangers go. And for this one, I have got hangers that have a non-slip surface. They're rather like felt. And we're going to be hanging a lot of things on our racks under the bed. So I want hangers that things are not going to slide off so that I don't have to stand on my head crawling around trying to reach things off from the floor of that closet. So we are going to go with these hangers and things are not going to fall off. These hangers, you can find them. I happen to buy these at Bed Bath & Beyond, but I've seen them at Marshall's, Home Goods, all different stores. So they're pretty easy to find. They come in different colors, but I thought maybe I'd go with a light color again so that I can see them easily when they're hanging. We have two chairs up front. They don't recline or swivel. They are permanent. They are very comfortable. If we need two more chairs, we can swivel around our passenger and our driver's seat so that we have a space for four people to seat. We can also put our table in. We can use it as an office or as a kitchen table to eat or prepare food or however we'd like to use it. We got a table. 
that pretty well covers what we have in the motorhome part of our coach, but I know you'd be interested in what Mike has to say about what's up front in the cab. This video is getting kind of long though. Well, you might have to do the cab part in part two. I, I think I will, because there's a lot of safety features, a lot of things that we installed here, and uh, it's just going to take a lot more time. Uh, what about the ride? The ride is very smooth. It's very pleasant. I'm, I'm pleased with the ride, and the seats are comfortable. Uh, I would rate it smoother than the uh, Sprinter. The Sprinter felt more like a truck, um, a van, and this feels, I don't know, it's also... Like an SUV. Yeah, this drives more like a big SUV. You're a little lower to the ground. Um, feels very good, I think. Uh, it's, it's a got, comfortable ride. It is. And it's got tons of safety features, but we will go over all of that in our next video. Something else I noticed in this transit. Do you notice how quiet it is? It is very quiet. You know, the sprinters were sometimes, when we were driving at high speeds like this, the sprinters were sometimes so noisy that it, it was kind of annoying to uh, talk while we were driving. But this, so far, is pretty quiet. So far, I think it's a thumbs up. We've only got 414 miles on it, so we got a lot of driving to do on this thing. We sure do. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Do us a favor. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And uh, please make sure you subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. When you do, click that little bell icon, and uh, then, we'll, then you'll be notified when we have new videos online. For Mike and Jennifer Wendland, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy trails. <laughs>